Well, Governor Brown signed an emergency drought bill into law this week, and the same week, and a record-setting storm was pounding Southern California. The state will now give a half a billion dollars to help cities, towns, and counties repair and upgrade reservoirs and dams to catch more of the rain that falls before it races down rivers to the ocean. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now along the LA River in Glendale with a look at how LA County wants to make every drop count. Dave? Well, that's right, Lena and Sylvia. The river is right behind me. I know it's dark. It's a little hard to see. You'll just have to take my word on this one. But during the rainstorm last week, the, the water just came barreling down this river. Some of it was saved for the dry times, but a lot of it went right into the ocean. And that's what local officials want to spend some of the drought relief money on, keeping more of the water, the rainwater that falls. Below that water level there, you can't really see it, but below there is where the valves are opened up. Okay. And that's how the water is released. Last week's storm was a godsend for drought parched Southern California. System wide, we captured 18,000 acre feet of water. That's enough to uh, supply the demands of 144,000 residents for an entire year. The difference in water levels at the Big Tahunga Dam Reservoir in the Angeles National Forest is clearly visible. Before the storm on February 19th, there was a big gap on the wall of the dam between the thick white stripe and the top of the water. After the storm, the water level now sits just below the white stripe. This is actually a long list of projects that are shovel ready um, between LA County Public Works and the other water agencies in the region. LA County Department of Public Works officials say the capacity of the reservoir could be increased by 1.4 billion gallons if a sediment removal project gets federal and state funding from drought relief programs. So we need to capture stormwater in giant gulps when it comes. Uh, the system is primed and ready to do that. Uh, but we know that we have more work to do in the system. We have opportunities that exist along the uh, LA River and in San Gabriel River and other locations to capture more stormwater when it comes. Whenever it rains, the battle is joined over capturing the rainwater. If the reservoir and wetlands don't get it for human consumption and use, then it will flow out into the ocean where it cannot be used for drinking, irrigation, or any other useful purpose. Downstream of Big Tahunga Dam and uh, downstream of some of our facilities, we are looking at multi-benefit projects. Nowhere is that battle more clearly delineated than along the Los Angeles River, where on rainy days, the river either deposits its water in the Pacific Ocean, where it's lost, or into the Dominguez Gap Wetlands Project, where it's cleaned and deposited into the groundwater. Now the county is asking for federal and state drought relief funds to make the wetlands gap work even more efficiently. The money that would go to that project would increase the amount of water that it's uh, absorbed into the aquifers. Instead of? Instead of releasing it into the ocean. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the water that's captured at the Dominguez Gap wetlands uh, would not go to the ocean, it would be conserved there on site and that would definitely benefit uh, LA County Public Works. Now, just in L.A. County alone now, there are about 40 projects that county officials would like to get some of that drought relief funding for. And remember, every county in California has got its own water-saving projects. This week, some officials from the L.A. County Department of Public Works are in Washington working with the Army Corps of Engineers, encouraging them to approve some of the L.A. County projects. We're live in Glendale. Dave Bryan, KCAL 9 News. That's encouraging, Dave. Thank you. And how did those catch basins at the foot of the San Gabriel Mountains hold up? Sky 9 investigated several of them this morning and found many are close to capacity with mud and muck, but they did their job holding back tons of dirt and debris that could have otherwise ended up inside homes. Well, crews have also been out along the coast all day working to clear debris from storm runoff. Most of the sand covering parking lots and Malibu beaches has been scooped away, but the effects of this weekend's high surf still linger. Some beaches appear to be a bit smaller because of the erosion. Experts say here at Zuma Beach during the summer, you'll normally see 50 to 60 yards of beach extending down to the surf, but today it's down to about 10 yards.